high kites and kingfishers and kingfishers and kites um, and everyone else in year five, we are going to be planning our story today. Now, yesterday you wrote a story. I know that. Um, that was based on the start of a film. And this and then that was to set you up for what you're doing for the rest of this week. So um, you're going to be planning a similar sort of story. It's still it's a sort of mystery, adventure, um, exciting story. Thinking again about some of the things you thought about yesterday, about how you show someone's emotion rather than just telling them, telling everyone how they feel. So we showed um, that she was that yesterday Natalie was uh, miserable because she was slumped like this, and we showed that she was shocked because her hands were bent back and she let back and her eyes were wide. And we're going to be using those same sorts of things. Um, writing your next story. Now this story you're going to be writing is a story about going back to school. Now we're all going back to school soon, some of you are already there, <clears throat> so you're fine, um, but you can still write the story. We are going back to school and I don't know about you, but I feel a little bit apprehensive, a little bit, like, is it going to be the same place? Will anything have changed? What might be the same? What might be different? Someone asked me the other day, will they be in the same seat or have I moved the seats around and that sort of thing. So probably going by past experience when I feel like this, actually, usually nothing's changed at all and everything's fine. However, what if it is different? And that's what this story is going to be about. So it could be, and this is completely up to you, how it's going to, which direction it's going to go in. It could be that the school's blown away. Like in The Wizard of Oz, it's blown off to another world. It could be that the school has ended up, like in the story yesterday, it's on the back of a whale or a dragon floating around. Maybe it does that once you end up back at the school. You look out the window and realize that you're in the air. Um, or maybe you see it floating above you and you need to somehow get to it and, and help help the people inside it. It could be that all the teachers have turned into robots or monsters. Or maybe, like me, you were quite interested in going back in time. I've always liked stories about going back in time, things like Tom's Midnight Garden and Moondial. And so... Um, I think mine is going to be about that. So when you get to the school, you'll find things are a bit strange. Maybe there's no there's no cars around and that sort of thing. So you're going to plan it today. You're not writing it today. Today, you're going to do lots and lots of English. You're going to have two English lessons. And so we've given you less other things to do. You've still got maths to do. And so you've got watch this video and plan your story. And then you'll watch the next video um, to plan your characters. So... Um, use this template to help you that I've put on the Sway, but you don't need to write, you don't need to print it out and write on it. Instead, you can write in your book, but use these headings to show your plan. If you want to print it out, you can, and then stick it in your book, but we do want all of that work in your book, remember, when you get back to school. So introduction, setting the scene. So it doesn't need to start off madly exciting can start off with a build-up of just sort of setting the scene who are the characters and that sort of thing so my character is going to be called Alex and we'll go more into what kind of person he is when we do the character stuff next um, in the next video but Alex um, is interested and has read Tom's Midnight Garden and so he's a little bit interested in things that go back in time. And that's where I can link it in the story to going back in time. I think it would work nicely. Um, and I'm looking at the wrong notes. My notes. Um, so I've got my plan, just like you. So when he wakes up, there's an, he wakes up, there's a, an alarm wakes him up and he hasn't had an alarm waking him up in ages so we're setting the scene it's his first day back at school with the alarm waking him up he feels very sleepy and we want to show not tell the reader that he's sleepy so we want to show what do you do when you're sleepy you yawn you stretch oh your eyes are kind of sticky stuck shut and you kind of peel them open maybe everything's a bit blurry at first so eyes stuck shut blurry vision at first and you just kind of you might yawn and stretch and all of these things will show us that he's very sleepy but oh that's not 
Alex. I've done it as if that is Alex. Oh, what's going on? So we'll say a bit more about Alex when we describe him later on. Um, so he's got, he's very, very excited. Um, in fact, I'm going to say a bit about Alex now because he misses his friends. Friends, i.e. I before, I before E, except after C, and when it runs with A. Misses his friends and so he's excited. Notice how I'm not writing in full sentences. He's excited to go back to school to see them. Um, I said he likes time travel novels, books. Um, and then I thought maybe he squeezes into his school uniform because it realizes it's a bit small. He hasn't worn it for a long time. Um, has he got butterflies in his stomach? That tells us rather than that shows us rather than telling us how he feels. He's got butterflies, it's got nervous, but excited at the same time and all of those things. So really just lots of lots of ideas um, write, written down on your plan. Lots and lots of ideas so that tomorrow you can just write and write and write and write. Tomorrow you're going to be writing a couple of pages. So about 500 words for your story. With, with So this plan will really help you to structure it and think about all the things inside it so that tomorrow you can just write and write and write and write. Um, so you can write a bit more than that, I think, for your introduction. But um, let's see if there's anything else I wanted to say in that. No. So then the build up is where it's starting to, you're starting to notice, or Alex is starting to notice that things aren't quite right. Okay, so he's walking to school maybe, or he, maybe he's just arriving at school. Normally when you arrive at school, there's a lot of cars, aren't there? So he's walking, but he notices something seems different. Can't quite work out what it is at first. Seems very quiet, eerie, which is like a quiet, uh, a not quite comfortable quiet and it's because there's no cars around does he see his friends can't can't uh what do you do when you see your friends i don't know i don't know what i don't know what you cool kids do do you fist bump do you uh, i don't know what you do but you can't do that you shake hands i doubt that um but you can't because of covid so you know what do you do are oh, you sort of wave and that sort of thing. Can't wait. Can't fist bump. And he feels a bit sad. But wave. Chat. But it's a build up. So we sort of notice school looks different. Maybe, maybe some of the characters already. So we'll talk about characters in a moment in the other video, but maybe the characters seem a bit different. Are they wearing funny clothes? Kevin normally wears a bright yellow jacket and you see him or Alex when you arrive and maybe um, they look different. Are they wearing a flat cap because they've got because you've gone back in time? Are their shoes a bit different? They won't be wearing trainers, would they? So things like that. And that's what you would write here. All of the ideas that are going to show that something seems wrong. Um, maybe, what does it say seem to? Maybe in the big problem, you notice the teacher, nasty, strict teacher, obviously not Mrs. Wilde or Mr. Dickinson. We're very pleasant and nice, or at least compared to Victorian teachers we are anyway. Nasty, sick teacher holding a cane. Maybe a child is crying and things like that. So there's a really, there's a big problem You've gone, we realise you've gone back in time, you describe the character, um, what are you going to do about it, what, what is wrong? So lots and lots of things here about what is wrong with the situation. Then the next 
part of your story that you're going to plan will be how you're going to tackle it, how you're going to solve the problem. Um, and then your final paragraph will be the resolution. How will it end? Is it going to have a happy ending? Um, is it going to have a sort of cliffhanger ending? You're not quite sure. Is everything back? Everything's OK. Or is it because then something happens? So how are you going to end it? Do think and plan how you're going to end it because ending a story is hard. So think about that carefully today so that tomorrow when you're writing, you don't just end up writing the end. Don't write the end. Don't write, and they woke up and it was a dream. Or if you do decide to make it a dream, then you have to have a, a twist, like it was a dream or was it, because then they notice something is still from the past. Um, so really think about how are you going to end it. If you think about that carefully today, you plan loads and loads today and you plan your characters really well today, then tomorrow it will be much, much easier to just write.